What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Wade once again. Another tutorial, Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. And today, we're gonna go over a tool called the Warp Tool. Um, and when you're using the Silhouette Studio software, it can seem like it's a little bit restrictive. But if you use some tools, if you know how to use some tools to the best of their ability, it can help you stretch your creativity to create things that are that seem like at first glance the software can't create so I'm gonna show you one of the tools that I like to use called the warp tool that enables you to stretch and bend things in ways that you would that can help your creativity and take your creativity to the next level when it comes to designing merchandise and designs to be printed or pressed on to gear guys so um uh let's get into it guys ada productions all right guys we are in our silhouette studio designer edition once again we're going to select the text tool or just press t press t to bring up the uh cursor so you can position your text and you know i like to write my designer name alan alexander Alan Alexander is my uh, designer name, guys. So, um, what am I gonna use here? I'm gonna come back, double click in here, highlight the font, and I'm gonna see if there's any other text that I prefer using um, to make this design. I'm just scrolling through. I just highlighted the whole text, and I'm just going down. This is the one I normally use. But I'm not going to use this today. I'm just going down. It might be Lucid Grand. Lucid I Grand. I might, I might use that one. So just let me keep that in mind. I don't like the way that A looks though. So I'm just scrolling down to see um, if there's a more desirable font that I'd like to use to create this design, guys. Hmm. This is kind of clean. Microsoft Sans Serif. That's kind of clean right there. Alright, bear with me guys while I choose a nice font for you guys. If you guys got anything that you suggest, leave it in the comment section down below. And I will surely use it on the next. Oh, you know what I'm going to use? Impact. Good, faithful impact. And I will surely use that font on the next tutorial. Okay, I got my text laid out here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead up here and I'm going to make the font size 100. Wait, let me double click it, highlight the font, make it 100. Now guys, what you wanna do when you are creating your merchandise, right? You wanna go onto your merchandise, right? And you want to measure out exactly, if it's a shirt, if it's sweatpants, if it's the back of a sweatshirt, if it's a sleeve, you wanna measure out exactly how long the size you want your, um, your text to be or on your garment before you do this pro process right here. All right, so in my case, um, we're going to try to make this go across the front of sweatpants, guys, which is interesting because we haven't done that yet, but that style seems to be in, so we're going to get it popping, right? Um, we're going to create the design today, and we're going to press it on tomorrow. So if you guys want to see what it looks like pressed on the garment, then you're going to have to subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow's video, all right? So let's jump back over to Silhouette Studio. All right, we got our text selected. We are going to color our text. We're going to color it black. And um, I'm going to make it a particular size. I don't know exactly what size I'm going to make it, but let's just make it this big for right now. Let's just make it this big. Whatever this big is, that's how big it is. All right. All right, so now we have our text here. We're going to go over and we're going to go all the way down to the warped tool. Open the warp panel. And then we hit that and we select warp selected shapes. Boom. All right. Now it brings up all of these funny little dots and little circles. And these things can do stuff, guys. Now what we want to do is we want to kind of create like an arc so that on the edges it's skinny in the middle and on the edges it comes down kind of like if you guys remember the ultimate warrior his eyes used to be and 
Eh, show my age. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, so let's just grab one edge and we'll bring it down like this. All right, grab one edge, bring it down. And keep in mind where you bring it down because we're going to try to match up the other edge and bring it down just as much to the same area. All right, so we're just bringing this down right here, trying to get it to around the same area. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know. It should be perfect, but it doesn't have to be. And then we're going to take this point right here, we're going to bring it back up. Bring it back up. All right. Now we brought it back up. We're going to do the same with the other one. Take this one, bring it back up. All right. So, and you want to eyeball it to make, make it look like as perfect and as even as possible. You just click off of it and see how it looks. And it's really easy to click back on it to get it back again. Get the uh, warp tool functions back again. You want to, for this, for this, when I do use this tool, I kind of, depending on what I'm making, I kind of try to keep the, uh, the top up here, the top section straight, because it's only a few instances where, well, your creativity, you can let your creativity fly when it comes to this, but there's plenty of ways that you can um, use this, this tool right here. But for this specific design, this particular design, we want the top of it to be flat so it can come straight across the waist. We're gonna go a little bit um, below the waist, kinda like at the above the top of the crotch area. So yeah, we got that selected. I think this looks good. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep it like this. We can make it more drastic by bringing this down a little bit more, but we're gonna keep it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna duplicate it. Uh, duplicate it, all right? And I'm gonna take the this one right here. I'm gonna make it different color. I'm gonna yeah, do that. I'm gonna I wanna select the white layer. I don't wanna put it exactly on the top. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it to the back. So now that I have it selected, I'm gonna press this right here, send backwards. And right now, you see that that text is sent backwards and it created kind of like a 3D effect, kind of, sort of. Now, that just gives it another dimension when you put it on your sweatpants and, an or and also add, add some texture to the design that you're creating because you're going to essentially lay one on top of the other the same size. So it's going to add some texture and it's going to add a little small 3D effect. So um, that is something that you can play around with. And once again, guys, before you send this, this thing to print, um, you want to keep in mind that you're printing the white vinyl and then the black vinyl. You can print the black vinyl and then the white vinyl first. But I think we're going to put this on a gray sweatsuit. So I was thinking about making it orange, I mean yellow and black, but... I think that would be too much because I'm actually going to wear this stuff, guys. So white and black on the gray sweatsuit I think would look the best. So that is what we're going to go with, guys. So um, before we send this to the Cameo, once again, we're going to select it. And then we're going to flip horizontal so it's backwards. And then it's flipped horizontal. And we go ahead and we go to the page to set up to make sure we have everything set up correctly we want to put it on a 12 by 12 um, inch cutting mat uh, if, if we're using a cutting mat because we already had the video if you didn't watch my video on how to cut without a cutting mat you can watch that video right here but if you know how to cut without a cutting mat then you can go ahead and select none make sure you have none selected and you can see the cutting mat that was previously on silhouette studio is now gone all right but in this case instance i'm just going to leave it as cameo 12 by 12 inch cutting mat all right so that we can lay i think i'm going to use a scrap piece of vinyl for this and when you're using scrap pieces of vinyl depending on how long they are if the wheels can't catch them then you want to use a cutting mat to so you can use your scrap pieces because i like to save all my scraps you know what I'm saying? all right so then after you do that you go to send after you do that you go to send right you press send and you select we're going to 
cut by Phil. Now, there's several different ways that you can cut on a Silhouette Cameo 3. You can cut, do a simple cut, which will cut out everything that the Cameo sees, which is not what we want to do because we have two layers. You can cut it out by line, which is similar to the simple cut. It'll just cut out everything it sees. We don't want to do that. There's different reasons why you would use each of these, but most of the times when you're dealing with multiple colors, you're going to cut by the third option, which is cut by fill. All right, now you see our white and our black layer. We're going to select the, um, put a check mark by the layer that we want to cut first. So it's going to cut out the white layer first. And so you put down your white vinyl. And then after it's done cutting the white layer out, you uncheck the white layer and then check the black layer. And then it'll cut only the black layer. Then you have your two layers of vinyl to press onto the garment, guys. All right. And last but not least, you want to go over down here and make sure you have the proper cut settings, which a lot of times when we cut different vinyls, we change our cut settings and we forget to change the cut settings back. And we think that the machine is messing up when in fact it was a human error and we forgot to change our cut settings. So I got mine on my Sizer Easy V cut setting, which is... And I'm using my ratchet blade, which is five, four, forces on 13, and one pass. All right, let me just double check. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so that's that's those are the cut settings that I use. That's what I find works the best with my Silhouette Cameo 3. For me, I don't have my Silhouette cut on right now because I just want to show you guys this simple, simple, tool that you guys can use for creating designs and getting creative with silhouette cameo 3 use this warp tool and take if, if you don't have a photoshop if you don't have an indesign if you don't have adobe illustrator then you can you have to use what you have to be able to create the designs that you want to create in this in this um when, when you're trying to make your, your 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 things for your clients guys all right so uh i just want to show you this useful tutorial just useful tool real fast and tomorrow uh, i just want to save i didn't want to make these videos too long that's why i do this so i'm gonna press this on to the garment tomorrow so stay tuned for that video i'm probably gonna shoot it right now but one step at a time baby steps everything comes in pro pro progressions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my sweatpants right now, measure it out. I'll show you all that on camera on the next episode. So stay tuned guys, your boy, Alan Wade. Hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Share the video with your friends and leave a comment in the comment section down below so you can give me a piece of your mind because you were mad that I didn't uh, press it on today, but stay tuned. It'll be pressed on tomorrow. You guys can see. Um, after I uh, make the video, I'll put the card right here, guys. All right, so check that out. It's your boy, Alan Wade. I'm out, guys. Later. Turn up that. Crank it up. While I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby.